Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell how to find a smallest number by which a number must be divided so that it becomes a perfect square. Here they have given a number. We have to divide this number with the smallest number. Then that number obtained should be a perfect square. So the same thing we can write like this. Perfect square is equal to given number divided by smallest number. Let us go through with an example. Suppose the given number is equal to 24. Then we can prime factorize this number 24 like this. 2 12s are 24 and 2 6 are 12 then 2 3s are 6. So we can write 24 in terms of 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay. So here if you observe uh, here. Here there is a pair 2 into 2. And for 2 there is no pair. And for 3 also there is no pair. So we have to multiply again this uh, here with 2 and with 3. So the smallest number nothing is nothing but 2 into 3 here. That is 6. So the perfect square is equal to 24 is a given number divided by the smallest number that is 6. So that is um, 24 divided by 6 is 4. So this is the perfect square because 4 we can write as 2 square. This is fifth problem from Manjit Singh. Find the smallest number by which 363 should be divided so as to get a perfect square. So here they have given 363. We have to divide uh, this number with a smallest number. Some number, some smallest number. Then the number obtained should be a perfect square. So first write perfect square is equal to given number divided by smallest number. So here the given number is equal to 363. So, 363 first you do prime factorization for this number. Then 3 1s are 3 2s are 6 and 3 1s are 3. Then 11 11s are 121. So, we can write 363 as 3 into 11 into 11. If you observe here, here 11 into 11 is one pair. But for 3 there is no pair. So, this is nothing but the smallest number. So, the smallest number is equal to 3. So, the perfect square we can calculate uh, 363 that is the given number divided by the smallest number 3. So that is 121. We know that 121 we can write as a 11 square. So that is perfect square.